What's going on guys? It's your friendly neighborhood Spidey Fit. It is Tuesday, March 6th. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm feeling great this morning. I had a good night's sleep. I didn't wake up at all. Usually I get up at like 3 in the morning, go to the bathroom, and then I just get distracted, and, and then I fall back to sleep. So I actually slept good. Uh, my body isn't too beat up. Uh, been doing this program now for three weeks, the Thor workout. If you haven't, if you haven't seen the uh, Thor workout, go check it out. Um, it's it, it's really good. Um, I'm liking it so far. I'm still doing handstands, by the way. I'm also still doing my animal type movements that you guys see me do on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. You guys will see my posts there. But yeah, I'm, I'm still following um, you know my handstand stuff, my flexibility. Um, I should get better at fle uh, you know um, stretching more because I've been. Um, feeling a little bit tight, especially in my glutes, and my back has been pretty tight because of uh, the heavy lifting that I've been doing. So I'm gonna be stretching today and then doing my leg workout. I'm probably gonna do everything the same, the front squats, the side, uh, side to side squats, and also the, um, the single legged deadlifts. I feel like those three exercises have been really helpful and um, kind of keeping balance in my body. And um, the little circuit that I do at the end, the box jumps with the, um, the sledgehammers on the tire, those are killer. Those get my heart rate up, and it's a good way to end the workout. But don't forget to stretch, guys. If you guys are, are doing this program, make sure you're constantly stretching after your leg workouts and also during your upper body workouts. So comment down below. Let me know how you are all feeling and if you are actually doing the program. If you are, hit the thumbs up and comment down, and I'll try to help you with any questions that you may have. Staying hydrated during your workouts and after your workouts will allow you to build more muscle, keep those muscles nice and round, nice and full, give you more definition at the gym, and just give you crazy pumps when you're lifting. So make sure you're staying hydrated. I drink a gallon and a half, so you guys do the math on how much you actually need. Sometimes I drink two gallons, it just depends on how much I'm lifting that day and how active I am that day. All right, getting started with the warm up. So I usually warm up with a bar. I do anywhere from four to eight repetitions. And I really just kind of pause at the bottom, bounce a little bit as you see me bounce there, just to open up those hip flexors and open up the hips. So after I do all the animal type movements and warming up at the bar, I usually start with um, some weight on there. Right now I have um, a 45 on each side and the barbell weighs about 40 pounds. So I'm gonna do anywhere from three to five repetitions, nice and slow, pausing at the bottom for a brief second and coming back up. After that, I'm just gonna add some weight and do anywhere from four to five repetitions and uh, anywhere from four to five sets. All right, so that first warm-up set felt really good. If you guys wanna learn more about how I get mobile and more flexible, go ass to grass on the squat. Uh, check out the link in the description box below. It's called um, Elements, and that's through GMB. That's how I got really flexible, so check that out. Um, also, uh, I'm gonna be doing some more animal type movements in between my, uh, my sets, just to get a little more flexible for the side to side squat. This was my last set of 155 with the front squat. I was able to do five sets of this. I think the next set I will add um, five pounds, so it would be 160, and I'll continue to do anywhere from four to five sets of the front squat. I personally like this exercise because it keeps you upright, corrects your posture, and it keeps everything in line. And it also develops a six pack, so try it out, guys. So now we're doing a little isolation movement here with a single legged deadlift, really focusing on the right side right now, uh, ankle stability. Uh, hip stability, core stability, everything. It just really addresses your posture by pulling your shoulder blades back. Notice how my shoulders are back. Um, they're not traveling forward. I'm gonna show you in a different angle here, going to my left side. I started doing this exercise a while back because of my Achilles injury. I felt that I really needed to develop more strength on my left ankle and just my left side in general because I was out of commission for uh, about seven months. So this is a wonderful exercise for any athletic person who's uh, really into uh, any type of sport, it's gonna develop uh, strength, stability, and uh, actually flexibility because as you can see here, I'm pushing my hips back, which is stretching the hamstrings, and it's also working the entire backside of my body. 
This is an exercise that's very similar to the single legged deadlift because um, it addresses both hip flexibility, ankle stability, ankle flexibility, and also strength. So keep doing this movement, guys. Add it to your routine. I personally like it. It's very challenging. And I'm showing you different ways of doing it here. So if you can see my foot, it kind of pivots upward right there. That's more of a stretch in the hamstrings. But if you see this one here, I'm keeping it down. That's more of a stretch in the inner thigh. So give it a shot. All right, guys. So I just got finished uh, training my client. I went to go see my, my uh, barber. I had to cut the workout short just because I didn't get a chance to finish it. Um, so I'm going to go back tonight with my wife and finish up uh, legs. Uh, two things to take into account when you do legs. Um, make sure that when you're squatting, you're keeping your spine upright the whole time. I don't want to see you guys rounding your, your back, especially when you're holding the bar here. A lot of that has to do with uh, tightness right in here, in the teres minor, uh, also tightness in the chest. Uh, because we do a lot of pushing in this program that we're doing for the Thor workout, um, some of our postures might end up looking like this. So uh, make sure that you're constantly stretching and really opening up so that you can, you know, obviously look taller and your posture will improve and your front squats will improve. If you have any questions on flexibility and other routines, there is a workout routine in the description box below. There's a link. It's, um, it's called Elements and you'll see it there. It, it really helped me improve my squat, um, my side to side squat that you saw me do earlier. It, I, I can never do that movement ever, but after doing this program through the GMB uh, Elements, I honestly, my flexibility improved where I feel so comfortable in the squat, like really sitting down into that squat, which most people can't because they have tightness in the ankles, tightness in the hip flexors, tightness in their glutes, their backs are tight, their shoulders are tight, and their squats end up looking mediocre. So I want you to really get the best of both worlds, strength and flexibility, and I promise that you'll stay injury free if you, if you uh, try that program out. So check it out, it's really helpful. Anyways, I'm gonna get some lunch I'm hungry. I'm gonna have some leftovers from yesterday, uh, some rice, chickpeas, and uh, you know some curry, along with some vegetables like broccoli and mixed greens. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna have for lunch, and then go train, finish my workout, and then have some dinner. So, let me show you what I'm eating here. All right, so this is what I'm having: curry, chickpeas, sweet potato, some veggies in there, and some veggie protein. This is kind of where I place all my uh, leftovers. I'm saving some for uh, the wife. These are sweet potatoes in here, which will last me till tomorrow. And we have the rice right over here. And the chickpeas. So when you cook ahead of time, it really does help um, to keep you uh, on track. And that's usually what uh, my wife and I do. We usually cook enough in bulk to kind of hold us over for a few days or three days or even a week. Especially when you cook uh, legumes. We have the broccoli right over here steaming. Once it steams up, I'm going to um, put some of these mixed power greens, which is baby chard, kale, and spinach in here. And I'm just gonna mix it all together right in there. All right, I'm just outside uh, my wife's work. Right now we're currently sharing a car. We've been sharing a car for, uh, I would say, uh, five months now. Uh, her car got totaled uh, five months ago by a tree branch. It just fell in the car. And uh, we haven't had a car since only because I work so, I live so damn close to work. So I usually either walk or when it doesn't rain, I, I take the car and I, dro I drop her off at work and it's so convenient. So we really don't need two cars right now at the moment, but um, maybe in the future we will. Anyway, she's about to come out and we're gonna go home She's gonna change and we're gonna hit the gym. We're gonna do cardio and we're also gonna finish up my uh, last two exercises that I was supposed to do for the workout. Oh, Who's that? <laughs> Say hi. hi. What's up guys? Just got off work. Time to train, right? Yeah. All right. So because I didn't do my core workout uh, yesterday, I'm gonna finish it up today. I'm also gonna be finishing up my cardio. And uh, let me show you real quick how I do my uh, hanging leg raises. So once you, once you hang from the bar, I want you guys to slowly pull yourself up without bending your elbow. From here, you're gonna go ahead and lift your legs up as high as you can. So right about here. And back down. Don't lose tension, otherwise you're gonna be sagging like this. All right, let's get it.
So you want to do anywhere from five to 10 to 15 repetitions, basically till failure. Um, when I first started, I could only do like six or eight. Now I'm actually getting better. And my, actually my shoulder mobility is getting better because I'm able to really open up as I'm doing it. So when you're doing it, I'll show you from an angle here. If you're here and you're pulling the bar and you're lifting your legs up and you're doing this, then you're doing it wrong because now you're not engaging your abdominal muscles. You're more engaging, you're engaging your hip flexors and now you're using your lower back to like propel you forward and we don't want that. We want to make sure that you're using your, your core to really activate the lower abdominal area. You want to be here. So here, pull yourself forward without pulling your neck and then from here just really focus on lifting your legs up as high as you can and bring them back down. You don't want to swing. Alright, so we're doing four rounds, ten on each arm, sledgehammers, and then we're doing 20 seconds on the air dyne. One minute rest and repeat.